Hello there, artists and art lovers around the world. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Has it ever occurred to you when you are drawing your comic panels that the usual square panels that we stack onto a page in different sizes still make our pages look really rigid and traditional? And you want to think outside of the box to make your pages look more interesting and your layout more creative. This is the same question that I have when I was creating Nemesis 1 comic and currently I'm creating Nemesis 2 comic. So what I have done and what I have learned during the process of creating these two comics is that I will borrow some cinematography skills from movies that I have seen over the years and using different kinds of composition or different kinds of shot images to actually integrate that with my comic panel layouts. So today we're going to talk about the techniques that we can use to break the tradition of the very square panels and to draw people's attention to something that you want them to look at and also make your page more dramatic and also more efficient. So let's tune in to see what we're going to talk about today. Today we're going to talk about creative paneling and framing for your design of your comics. I will be using some examples of great artists that are working for DC Comics and so on. I will also share some of the art that I have found that have really creative paneling and framing ideas from Pinterest and also Instagram. So when we are first talking about paneling, we what comes to mind first is probably this, right? Something that is pretty square or rectangular and we just follow the usual process of reading comics. So for example, if you have a three panel layout, you just read from up to down. Or if it gets a little bit more complicated, you go up to down, but left to right, right? This is basically what will come to mind first. And even if you have more panels, we still follow this rule. The problem is as time goes along, the traditional layout seems to be a little bit more rigid and it's not as fun to read anymore. So we might be thinking as we're creating comics, nowadays, how can I break this tradition? How can I make my paneling and my page more dynamic, more creative, and think outside the box a little bit? We still follow the same process of reading up to down and left to right, but we still can make our panels more interesting and the whole page more cohesive. So here's what I have learned during the process of looking at other art and also learning and applying on my Nemesis 2 sketch board and storyboard process. So bear with me now, I will share with you some of the things that I have learned and some of the real cool paneling ideas that I have seen. So the first thing that we can do, also I think is the easiest thing that we can do is that yeah, we stick with, we still stick with some rectangular or square panels, but we can change it up a little bit, like what I have found on Pinterest right here. We can change it a little bit by applying a big background in the back and changing the sizes of the panels right here. For example, in this page that I've seen on Pinterest, I'm not quite sure who's the artist. If you know who's the artist, please let me know. There are many other examples like this in this video as well. So in this page, he used a big background as the bottom layer for the whole page. And it just adds such a cohesive feeling to it. Even though he used two traditional rectangular panels, he used it in different sizes and he placed it strategically on the page. And it looks like it's in one with all the other elements of the page. And it almost feels like all these panels are not so rigid anymore. They are almost decorative to the whole art style of this page. So here's one thing that we can learn, which is very easy to apply, which is to apply one of the panels that's the main panel and tells the main story or gives the main background of this page story as the bottom layer of your page. The main panel using it enlarged at, and sets the ambiance or sets, sets the background and setting of this whole page. So that's one application that we can use. And then the next image I'm going to use is something else that we can also use as a small variation to the traditional rectangular panel layouts, and which is this. This artist, he simply used his panels, 
rectangular panels the way they are, but he scattered it right across the whole panel like little cards. And he also tilted some of the angles of these panels looking like they're all directed into the main character in the background. So on top of using the main panel as the background and framing the whole page using the biggest panel as the background, he also tilted some of his small panels so that they're all directing your attention towards the main character in the main panel. And then moving on from there, if we don't want to really change too much the traditional paneling, we could stick with that, no problem. We could stick with the one, two, three, four, and just reading from up to down, no problem. The same thing can also be applied. But the difference of why this page is so dynamic compared to what a traditional one, two, three, four, up to down panel layouts is because he somehow, or she somehow, I'm not quite sure who the artist is, he using the lighting, he made a very cohesive and one piece structure for all these panels, linking all the panels together using light. As you can see, there are diagonal momentum to his lighting. And these lights are connecting panel one and panel two together, almost like a chessboard, right? You got white right here, you got some dark areas right here, and then right right here. And that linked all the different panels together. And it looks more cohesive. So if we want to use traditional paneling, that's all good and well. To make it a little bit more interesting, we can find an element that can link those panels together. No matter what element that could be, to this artist, it's lighting, right? To connect them together in some way and actually connect the storyline together as well. I think this page is really, really interesting and it's really, really creative. I can't stop looking at this page, even though it's really, really close to a traditional four panel layout.